your bank account, your insurance contract do you sign? Yeah, I didn't read that either. Yeah, you didn't know those either, so why in the shit are you hanging around? Get this shit done. Okay, I'll get this shit done. Yes. All right. Because you can bone up on it later while they're they're working it over, too. Yes, get it in the mill. Okay. You're going to have to stay three nights in purgatory, and that's because it's the three-night awe in height or in hind or whatever law. The first night, you're a stranger. Well, that's what you are right now. You're a stranger. The second night, you're a guest. After the third night, you become a domestic. Now you can sit at the table. And when you can sit at the table, you can demand your meal from the servants. Sounds good to me. I know. You need to look and see what the hell's going on in the Bible and what has been handled down through the years in the metaphors. You've got more than enough knowledge out there. Just start thinking a little. You don't need to go to the damn codes or anything like that to prove this shit. It's there. Just send it, just type it up and send it out. Yes. Okay, I'll jump on that. You drag your feet and you'll never get out of this damn system. I don't know how many people there are on their damn group site right now. Should be close to about 2,000. And there's nine damn people on this damn call. That is ludicrous. There's 14 now. 14 still still ludicrous. ludicrous, Yes. Does does a lot of people download it afterwards? Yes, a lot of people do download the call afterwards. Yes, but you don't know how many people download it, okay? Yeah, actually I do. I, I get a report on that. Off the group site or off of your other sites? No, off of this free conferencing site. They send me a report yeah. of okay. who's been downloading. But you also post it onto the group site, don't you? Yes, yes, post on the group site first. No, that is the downloading of the recordings is what I'm getting. It, uh, the, usually the day or two after a, a call, there's a lot of well, how many? Tell me how many people have been downloading this shit. I would I'm say getting sick and tired of talking and not knowing what the shit is going on, if anybody's listening to me. I'll, I'll go back and look, but I, uh, my impression is it's around 30 people downloading. No, that's still ludicrous. Right, still, still low. But, uh, whatever you want to call it. Hey, hey, pa- Patrick. There's just a lot of 150 pound ants out there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not lazy or anything. I just have to get my other obligations and jobs done, and then I, when I have a day, a free day or something, I'll type it all up and go for it. But I have, I'm finishing up little jobs here and there, cleaning up yards and everything. Got to survive here. Now, it only takes about 15 minutes to turn around and take that document that I have, put your name in there, okay? There's no numbers. Just take my name out, put your name in, and basically start copying the damn thing and start faxing it out. Right. Yep, it's really easy. I'm looking at it again. It's two pages, that's it. Yes, I did all the fucking work for you people, okay? I know, it's so painful. Okay. All right. Now, after the third night, you become a domestic. You're sitting at the table. 
You can sit down at the table now. Right now, you can't sit down at the table because you're still classified as a stranger. Three nights is you get, and you put this in, and they see some desist order. The three nights is that they have three days to rebut it. They're not going to rebut it. So now, after three days, it stands as a fact. Uh-huh. Okay, now you can sit down at the table. You have separated yourself from your prodigal person. You've addressed that fact. They come and harm you, basically, then they're going to get punished. You've got the facts now on your side of the aisle. They only have presumptions, and they're operating as a presumption that you are a stranger, or at the most, a guest, but you're not a domestic. So by sending it to anybody who could be possibly involved, we're actually giving them plenty of opportunity to rebut it. And no, none of them are taking that opportunity. No, they're not going to because they can't rebut it. Right. This is a, a slam dunk. Okay. They cannot rebut it. Think about it. Can yeah. can no, you rebut it? No. no. Facts are facts. Okay. But you have to let them have the opportunity of the three days, just like a banking transaction. Right. I, I, I did Just like see all it. contracts, you have three days to rebut the contract. And send it back to them. Saying, no, I don't want that car. I really wanted a red one. But you tried to force me to have a blue one. So I don't want this one. So that's the real power of this is that three-day rule. Yes, now, it may take longer to settle the whole damn account because this is under securities out here that they have to bring in the settlement. All of their commercial securities, and most of them are on a 15-day or 30-day cycle. This whole scenario to set this expense rift trust up and the insurance scam was all because not of the bankruptcy in 1933 like everybody thinks it is. No, it was because of the stock market crash in 1929. They had to find a way to basically hold the people accountable for the money that basically they said they would put up. Yeah, how many people jumped out of damn windows in in the 1929 stock market crash? Because they didn't have the money. So basically they let the other party high and dry. That's why the market kept going down. Because people had overextended themselves and they didn't have any means to back it up. They did. They just didn't know where it was at. Hmm. But see, that's what they did now. They brought in the system to give the backing to that. 
transaction, to the puts and calls that people were taking out. Pat, do you believe the government controlled the stock market as well as they do now? The government don't control shit, okay? It's the players in the market, okay? The Federal Reserve and the other money changers, the insurance companies, they're the ones that are really controlling the stock market, the well, I mean, commodity markets. Don't you believe that the government, with all their men... I don't believe anything about the government. The government's a complete hoax. They're a bunch of nitwits. Take a look at your damn senator. Does he know dick shit? Well, no. They got specialists to do all the buying and selling on the stock market. They can make it. They can make it go up and down. They can make it do whatever they want to. Yes, because they got but all the money. It's coming in from the Federal Reserve, from the money changers, the foreign money changers, the brokers. That is the worst thing in the world is these brokers, the money changers. <laughs> I'm sure you've all heard the story about uh, Rothschild and the damn English market when Cornwallis uh, fell at Waterloo or Napoleon fell at Waterloo. He rigged the damn market. He got the inside information before everybody else, and then he drove the market one way, and then he turned around and bought it back the other way. But he now false rumors. And what have they done in the Patriot community here? They put out false rumors to get you to go every which way but the right way. To not understand what the hell the Bible is. That's what the damn religious leaders are all about. They're deceiving you to know what the real meaning of the Bible is all about. You want to believe the government? You want to believe all these other nitwits? You're going with the majority. Right there should tell you something's wrong because the majority is wrong. They're the herd of cattle that's going off the cliff into the Grand Canyon. <laughs> one right after another. And they won't even let you tell them the truth. You try to tell them the truth, they go, oh, take that to City Hall. Don't talk to us about it. Yeah, but see, that's where you have to get this cease and desist order in place. Now they can't override a cease and desist. Good. Patrick, I got a lot of faith in what you did. This, that's your best work. And I think it's going to take a little while for the, uh, the powers of be to, to pass this on to uh, the higher-ups in the food chain. No, it is. No, it won't. We're this the is a ups. slam dunk. This is done. We're the higher ups. They're the servants. They're the slaves. Okay? We inform them. Now, they can't rebut it. They don't have to pass it up to any higher person. Hell, I gave it to the damn Supreme Court judge. I gave it to the vicar general of the damn Church of Rome. I gave it to the postmaster general. I gave it to the attorney general. I gave it to the Inspector General of the Treasury. How much oh, higher up do you need to go? Well, Obama Dylan. is a complete fucking idiot, so why even bother with him? They'll understand it. Yeah, Obama would be the last person to understand it. They will never understand it. Hmm. Because they're like half the damn patriots out there. Their mindset is one direction, and they ain't going to change. Mm. 
They want to go to the coast. They want to go here. They want to go to the 1099s. They want to go to the IRS. They want to go all the wrong places. I've been to all those places, and they don't give shit to you. I don't know how much more proof you can get than that. But yet I told you I had proof that the damn puts work when I did not have the money to pay $25,000 two times when the market went against me. But uh, yet my brokers, stock brokers or commodity brokers, they knew how to process it in against my accounts. That's what I'm saying. These securities, the 1933 Securities Act and the 1934 Securities and Exchange Act, were instrumental in this whole damn process. You have to know how the money flows. And some of you guys never will understand it. But you can understand right and wrong. And you're, this is totally wrong. You're supposed to have an inheritance. So by doing a cease and desist against this fictitious uh, prodigal spendthrift trust, when you stop that, then you can get your real assets. Just don't get back into their damn system. In other words, Pat, did you say you lost $25,000, but the uh, the brokers managed to uh, um, to get their sell? The market went against me, and they put the put that I bought against me. They called it in. So I had to buy that back, and I was short $25,000 from being able to buy it back. But the brokerage house knew where the money was at, and they went and got it out of my account. Wow. See, I've got the proof. I just didn't know that I had the proof. Just like I had the proof about a military person can basically walk out of the military when they're 25. They've completed their obligation. I did it when I was 28. And I still had a year and a half on a contract to go. But it was a fraudulent contract. It was a voluntary contract. So I could terminate that contract any time I wanted to. Well, if word got out about that. What? If word got out about that. A lot of people be leaving early. Hell, I've been saying that for how many years now? Three, four years, five years? About the military? 2,000 people on this damn group. You think the word's getting out? No, they think that I'm a damn lunatic. When you speak the truth, you basically get outcasted and claim to be the complete idiot. No, there's just too many idiots out there. <clears throat> They're drinking beer and watching sports. Okay, Tom, I'm turning it back over to you guys. You guys go ahead and talk. Nice I'm work, I'm done Pat. talking. Really good work. Can't wait till the judge sees my paper. Wants me to spend two days in jail. Fuck him. Wait till he gets my lawsuit. Huh. No. You're going about this the wrong way. You put the cease and desist order in. Now. After you get the cease and desist order in the three days, 
Now you become the domestic. Now, if they come and harm you, then you have a right. Other than that, you do not have a right because you're classified as a stranger or a guest. Yep. Enemy of the state. No, just... Well, I don't know why you people man, keep man. trying to throw more and more fucking shit in the game. I tell you something, and then you got to add to it and destroy what the shit I just said. I'm learning. Okay. Then slow down and don't speak when you know what the hell you're talking about. Okay? <clears throat> Loose lips sink ships. Tom. Tom. I'm sorry, I had my mic off. Sorry. <laughs> I, I answered okay. you, but nobody heard yeah, me. Turn it back to you. You guys go ahead and talk. Okay. Discuss what the hell you want to. Okay, thank you, Patrick. Okay. Well, we're now. So, so uh, what, what is uh, impeding you guys in doing this? You want to talk it out? Because we've talked a lot on the Skype group and we get on the call and work on stuff, but we're still not getting on the call and working on stuff. Anybody want to go? Well, I just want to say I have to look up words like estoppel in pace and inquest of office and all these words, you know, the Mars, Omea, solve it, and all this stuff I haven't looked at yet. I'm still Zeris, breaking it in. Aquiret, innuendo, in innuendo. Aundo. Aundo, yeah. Well, I gotta get familiar with all that kind of stuff. Well, that's easier for me. That I had eight years of Latin, and even though I don't remember many of the words, I can get the sentence structure. Yeah. But well, he's read, got some of the glossary right here attached to paper. Of times. You know, you have the doc file. As you're adding your new words, just add them to the doc file. Mm-hmm. That's basically what I did. I mean, there's 20 pages of definitions out there. But, I'm, I mean, the thing is, I, I I get what he's saying here. Get the damn thing out. Put mm-hmm. the, the, this is the burning match theory. Put it in their hands. If they don't come do it after three days, now we have the position. They didn't refute it. They've accepted it. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm expecting back my put order for uh, some cash from the Ohio Treasurer because uh, they said they didn't have anything to do with it. The moment it turns around, I'm going to turn around and send it to the Indian custodian, Indian property custodian, which is what Patrick did with his traffic tickets. <clears throat> and I'm thinking perhaps even at that point, uh, we, we can call the Secret Service or the trustee and say, okay, are you having any problems with this? How are things doing? But I don't think we need to call right at the end of the third day because the point he makes is that the three days uh, is is the you know refutation of the contract thing. And once that's over, it is going to take some time to untangle all this. I mean, there's a real snarl of accounts here. You can you can just imagine the kind of work they have is try to un- unwind all all the pe- people who did access the account and getting that stuff back. An alien custodian sure rings a bell. Alien property custodian. Everybody's an alien. We've made ourselves an alien. Hey, Tom. Yes. This is Norge. I got mine back today from Ohio. So you and I are on the same track there. 
Well, you got your you got your put order back today. Uh huh. I haven't Mine even opened it. Mine hasn't arrived yet. Oh well, look for it. <clears throat> but I've gotten this call call from the same woman at the Treasury Department every time that you do. Yeah. So anyhow, which is unusual. Which is unusual because nobody else has. Well, I got two calls today. It was real strange. Oh. Yeah. Just like before, no, nobody answering. No, no, no. Uh, this, this was I. I sent to the the city utility company in in Nebraska where I was. Oh, so I yeah. sent them a CC to the store, and they called back and said, "We don't have your social security number. We're not dealing with that account." I, I said, "If that's actually, actually true, then you have absolutely nothing to worry about." Uh, and then I, I told Patrick that, and he says, well, yes, they, they don't deal with it directly, but they're dealing with the county and your titles and your driver's licenses, so that means they're accessing it through these other people. So, yeah, it applies to them. Yeah, see, that's that's what I didn't know, because <clears throat> when I talked to, uh, I think it was my electric company, they denied having my Social Security number. Uh this was several months ago. Yeah. Well, I know so, they asked for it. When I filled out the application, I had to give it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I haven't sent it to my utility companies here yet. Uh, I, 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 uh, I've done most, all the official Ohio's things. But the utility companies at the county level, I haven't done to Ohio because I'm relatively here, new here, and I didn't uh-huh. have that much going yet. But in Nebraska, I was there for ten years, so I had and you know a number of issues. So I, I, most of my day was spent on Nebraska and spreading it around. Okay. And then I had I had Arizona to do where I was in the late nineties, but there was not that not that much for me to do there. Well, I understand they're just low level customer service. They can't access your social security number. They can type it in, but once they type it in, it's gone. They won't be able to see it again. Well, I brought this issue up to the clerk of the county district court in Nebraska, and they swore up and down that they don't access the social security account. Of course, where in the hell do the bonds come from in the court case? That's sure they do. Shit. Yeah, and uh, I had uh, had a conversation with a retired clerk of court, and I, I asked him uh, – the question, are, are the judges fully aware of this? And he said not only the judges are fully aware of it, the clerks of the court are even more aware of it because they're the ones who are doing it. I had my jailer spend three hours trying to look up my Social Security number. <laughs> I kept on asking me for it. I said, no, I can't tell it to you. <laughs> they really got to have that or they're going to kick you okay. out of the jail. Hey, Thomas, if we don't have a... If we haven't been in the selective service, we can include the the volunteering or, or into the uh, selective service. But I don't know yes, if it was I, the state I, of I, 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 that I was the United up. States, wasn't it, for the selective service? Yes, you're going to have to have your selective service number eventually. What I did is, and what I, I looked into that, uh, anybody before 1960 has to go to the National Archives in St. Louis. And there's a form on the web that you fill out and have to mail in, which I did last week. A now, form to military, get the number or to get rid of the number? No, to get to find my selective service number so I can turn it in. Yeah. So it's 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 not volunteering for like he's saying state of Iowa or even California. It's not there. It's the United States Selective Service, isn't it? Yes. Right. But you registered at the county level. Oh, we did? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. You registered in your county at around right. age 18. Now, at okay. 18, I, I was I was uh, beginning college, so I don't know whether I registered at home or in, uh, in, in Cincinnati, in Cleveland or Cincinnati. So if we never served, we just don't need. We just it just we just obscure the omit the. Uh, 
No, take a look at that sentence. That's Sorry about that. Somebody's going. We just delete or omit the uh, military DD two fourteen. Right. That's all yeah. you delete. Okay. Excuse okay. me. I got to take your call. Okay. Yes. Anybody else have something? I mean, what we really need to do is is fill this out. As Patrick says, it's very simple. Send it out. Let the three-day clock start t ticking on those people. Then you can study the words like hell. Because uh, with all the time it's going to take them to process, you have plenty of time to bone up on, on what this means. Yeah. And hopefully the more of us send it in, the more Pardon? serious it will be to them. Pardon? Hopefully the more of us that send these in, the more serious they're going to take it. I think so. Hey, um, did, did, did somebody said they got um, their puts that came back? More, I did think. Uh, nor, nor didn't Nor didn't you say you got you got we were one put yeah. back and yeah, my, and mine came back and I talked to the same lady you did, Tom. So you'll be getting yours. Believe me. So they just they just send it the whole thing back. No. Yeah, I've all, out of all the bureaucracies, I've only had one that has responded each time I've sent something in and they say, well, we're not going to do anything with this. Do you want us to destroy it or send it back? Okay. Now, the first two times that the re-entry documents, I said, well, I, I know I made some mistakes on it. I'll just destroy it. And um, when they called about the put order, I said, no, I want the put order back, and so they're sending it back to me. Didn't Patrick say something about doing something three times? That it, it, it's in, in threes. Does yeah, I did. Sense? I did wonder that, about that. And what he says after the three days, I think that's when um, we we send three notices saying, since you have accepted this, uh, perform this. Now, this is the third, second time I've told you since this accepted this, perform this. Okay. In other words, we can begin the three, once we've submitted this, uh, we can go back and refer to it each time. Yeah, I'm gonna do mine this week and send it out. Now I, I'm I'm thinking I'm trying to gear myself up for it. I, I you know, I'm thinking of doing this, but I, I know I'm not prepared yet. Is that <laughs> enough of these transactions back and forth? Uh, we could just call the trustee or the secret service and say how are things going? How you know when is it going to be done? Do you need anything? Yeah. Well, it'll be interesting to see if anybody else gets three phone calls back. On their telephone. You mean mm -hmm. like, the, like the three smoke signals that Patrick got? Yeah. Well, I didn't get any. Smoke but signals. <laughs> I, I, I think he got them on the third day, as I remember. He, he sent it in his in Thursday, and I think those signals came back on the Saturday. Yeah, that's right. He said he sent them in on Thursday. Next. Okay, well, anybody else have anything? No, there's... I'm listening. Okay, well, there's no reason to do the call if no one has anything to uh, discuss. Okay, thanks, Tom. Okay. Yep. I don't. I don't have anything. Thank you. Okay. Well, uh, the uh, the marching orders seem to be pretty clear. Get get it, get it in. Start the clock on them, and meanwhile, get back and go over and over what you did so you're prepared. Oh, um, I got in on the call late. Did, did I hear? Did I understand you correctly that there are some words to add to the? Put call order. I mean, not the put call, but the, the cease no. and desist. Cease and desist is just as it was. Okay, awesome. Okay, I I filled out mine uh, probably on Friday after I converted it to the doc format, and so I've had it ready to go. My my thing has been collecting all the phone numbers, so I had had that all lined up for it to go. <coughs> I use Metrofax to get it out, so oh, okay. it's actually rather easy because I just have one one fax header sheet 
uh, it, which is an email in my email program. I send one out, and then I I forward the previous message again and I change the address and uh, the the email address, and so it, it I, I must have gotten at least thirty uh, thirty faxes out in in about six four four or five hours. Well, and I I probably have uh, uh, fifteen or twenty to do tomorrow. But we are getting it Can all over. Can you guys talk about the, uh, I have to look up the non cupuntive will in statutes. The non cupuntive is that, that's an Anderson? Yeah, so uh, the, uh, the key, key word there is nunc at the beginning. The word, a Latin word for now. And uh, as I remember, I have to go back and I have to, I've looked it up twice because uh, the actual technical difference I, I keep forgetting, but it's really saying in informal, like non -combatant? Con in, in formal contract, uh, more or less like a verbal contract or an assumed contract. That's what non cupative is? Yes, non, non cupative. Non cupative, right. Not non, nunc. Nunc is a Latin word for no. Oh, nunc, nunc cupative, okay. Right. Okay. So you're saying it means like it's your will, your desire, your contract? Yeah, that, that it's an informal contract. Of basically, what it amounts to is the word deceptive. Oh, okay. in, in these terms, the word itself doesn't mean deceptive, but it, it was a, you know, a, you know, a, well, maybe we ought to look up the word and, and do, so what's the word? What file was that in? What word are you looking up? Just nunc or just upative? What are, what are you looking nunc up? Nunc upative. Nunc upative. Is that in? Uh, I'm using the Windows Windows search capability to search all the files for that. Yeah. And here it is. It's actually in in our. Uh, our uh, cease and desist order definitions. Yeah, right. I mean, they're showing it up in there already. Yeah, it's in no, there. I'm on Windows Seven, so I quickly look, tell Windows Seven to search all the files on the computer that have this word in them. Yeah, I'll do like what he said. Just get the paperwork in. Study the stuff in the interim. Hurry up and get it done. Otherwise, you're going to take our car or do or something out of us. Steal something from us again. Right. Plunder us. Hmm, that was false. It isn't in that document. Yeah, it's at the bottom paragraph in uh, page two of two. Yes, I was I was looking for the act, actual, uh, but you know his his words in the second paragraph are by deceptively unrecorded non cupative wills as contract. So uh, non non cupative means non cupative. Uh, it was informal, sometimes verbal, if I remember yeah. the definition. Right, because we made applications for driver's licenses or even Social Security numbers when we didn't really know all the facts. Right, but in this case, the will was formed with a certificate of live birth when you had no way of even uh, entering a contract. Right. But that 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 whole thing, even about the uh, certificate of live birth, really isn't well. It's mentioned in the first page, yeah. Right. Okay. Any more? Yeah, it's pretty well written. He does he does have it 
he does have it pretty well sewed up here. Yeah, and I think it was a very good idea uh, that Patrick had Gita read it uh, because it, uh, it it sinks in differently when you hear someone read it than what, when you just hear someone speaks it. And I like the way she read it. She emphasized all the right words when she read it. Oh, thanks, Tom. I wish I had a. To pra- I wish. I wish I could have practiced before. That's all right. You did a good job. Oh, thanks. Well, I just got to now. I just have to like type it up on nice paper and send it out. I think I'm going to send it to the county that um, I got naturalized in, which is on Long Island, New York, first place. Yes, that's that's your ba- basically. Well, you have to find out what uh, what district, uh, you know, what circuit court covers that wherever that was. Yeah, I'm going to send it to the treasury of the county. Is that okay? Uh, no, that's not the list that Patrick has. It's oh, okay. I have to go through the list. I mean, uh, I I sent mine to the county treasurer. Uh, and back in Nebraska, simply because that's where the property taxes are paid, and I I lost some land there, and I'm going to go back actually the, all over the fraud of that system. All right. And, and so, so they're on notice right now that they've done something wrong. Oh, good, good. Now they're probably trying to scratch their head and say, what did we do wrong? We did everything right. I wonder if this would be good to also put into any type of IRS documents that they send you, you know, frivolous filing, bills. Well, we're already taking care of that with the court orders. Right, the court orders. Okay. Got it. No, that the flow chart on the other documents is still is valid. Um, now, what, he's, what he's done with the cease and desist, mm-hmm. that he, that's basically, that, that's the call away. Okay, gotcha. Okay. The cease and desist is what the call? The call away. away. Remember the flow chart on the right hand side? That we the real person can do a call away of all our get our all our assets back. That's really what we're doing with the cease and desist. To say, you know, stop your crap and give it back to me. Does that mean if you didn't do the puts that you need to do them before you do the other? Well, what Patrick did, he sent puts off. They didn't work. He sent in the uh, uh, cease and desist. And the day after he sent in the cease and desist, he resubmitted his traffic ticket puts. Oh, okay. Okay. Though I get get what he's saying now. When we When we get back our lunch money puts... Uh, I think I'll wait till the third day when they've accepted it all, and then send and them in a, again. Well, yeah, but put, I'll put it in a cover letter. Uh, now that now that you've accepted uh, the cease and desist of uh, the previous processes. Oh, okay. So I think this is, you know he's boiled it down to real simple. So, you know, the phrase I've heard a long time in computer business, don't do paralysis through analysis. <laughs> I mean, really, you know more than you think you know. Now, Patrick pulls us up short a lot of times showing us we don't know as much as we, or we don't express well what we know. But we really do know more than we think we know. True. So we should stop over analyzing this cease and desist and get it out there, and then. Well, it's not so much over analyzing; keep reviewing it. Yeah. And so you know to make make it second nature to you. I, I've been re- in in the past months. I've been reading some books that I hadn't read for uh, three, four, some for twenty years. 
mm-hmm. and they're absolutely totally fresh, and I see something new in it because we learn so much. You probably go back to, to some of his older documents, and they'll probably make a whole lot more sense to you because of all the things that we've been through in the past few weeks. Yeah, that could be. But his his point is right. Uh, it only takes about fifteen, about well, maybe thirty minutes of clerical effort to uh, produce that two-page document. Uh, it's going to be more of an effort to collect all the phone numbers. Yeah, that's the bit, that's the work. That's the the facts. Mm-hmm. And uh, Google is your friend there. And I had to call probably five or five to eight agencies today, and without much grief, they gave me the fax numbers. Wow. Some of the agencies don't even have a phone number on on their website. They hide their address. New York is terrible. I mean, they hide everything. Right. Yeah, when Wells Fargo would wouldn't give me the fax number for the CFO, I asked them, what are you trying to hide? <laughs> <laughs> she didn't like that, but that was my final shot. <laughs> did they? Did you get it? No. That's the only one I had in mail. However... Oh, I'm not even bothering to send one to the president. Oh. But they, they, they have publicly declared, well, when I call this, says there's no working facts in the White House, uh, which I don't believe. But I heard from elsewhere is that they did make a statement saying that they, they their faxes were getting so overwhelmed that they have withdrawn them from, from public access. Yeah. For some of those companies like Wells Fargo and stuff, if you go on NASA.com, a lot of times you can find fax numbers and numbers that you can't normally find. What what uh, was that? If you go on Manta M A N T A dot com. Yeah, Manta dot com does have a lot of stuff, and all of these all these things are corporations, registered right. stock corporations. But a lot of the contact information is on there. Yes. Good, good, good point. Okay. Any more? Yeah, we've yeah, we got, got a little Skype. fire under a butt now. We're going to get moving. Okay. And we've got the Skype group or the uh, or the Yahoo group where we can keep asking questions. Right. I think Pat, Patrick would be happy if we use the Yahoo group too. You know, the, the guys. I see the Skype group is good when we're talking about more private information. Uh, but the. Um, if, if the two thousand people see some activity on the on the Yahoo group, they're going to wonder what's going on. So right now we have we have been sort of abandoning the Yahoo group in favor of the Skype group. And I think we should do both. Maybe sometimes put the same questions and answer in both places. I put a capital T on the USA in the in the. Uh Office of the American Functionary, underneath the signature, I put the capital T in the, the U.S. of A. Well, the, and remember the article of Confederation, the, the style of the title was a small t. It was? I thought it was a capital. No. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yes, that's and the one that he quoted, but actually... I looked around in three different places, and, and there was one reprinting of it, and it was at a government office where everything was all caps. And this was in 1815. Other one, yeah. Another one was all capitalized, and the, but the one straight in the Articles of Confederation itself was the lowercase the. It said the style and uh, name of our nation shall be, and I thought it was a capital. Uh, I have to go back, but he he, did, he did make right now. I'm look, I'm he did make a great point that was was a uncapitalized love. 
Not that it, I don't think it really makes that much difference. Because it's really the United States is the uh, normal term for the constitutional one, and the United States is for the corporate one. Okay, I, I also uh, sent the cease and desist yesterday to someone who's close to Rod Glass and uh, told him that to another person uh, when was Rod Class was in his gunfight down in Washington, D.C., I'd send him Patrick's trump card. But uh, Rod, Rod wouldn't answer any phone calls about that. So that's his loss. I know. Rod, Rod loves fighting the statutes and codes in the court. Pardon? Uh, never mind. I'm, I'm, get, I'm coming up with the Articles Confederation right now. It's capital T. It's Article One, oh. Section One. I send it. I'll send you my file, Thomas. Well, what what link is what link is it? Pat? Oh, I just have a PDF. I just have a PDF of the okay. whole thing. I think the thing is, is I've, I've looked it up in three different places. And there have been three different ways it's been uh, uh, reprinted. Yeah. Anyhow, so I, I think at that time when they reprinted, they were loosey goosey about what's capitalized and what's not. I'll send Remember you what I have. For, for a while, they were working off the uh, the German system, where almost all nouns are capitalized. Right. If you look at the German language, I think uh, I haven't looked at any recent stuff, but it's, uh, usually it's always the nouns that are capitalized. Yeah, this is. I'll send it to you. Make sure you have it. You want it on Skype or email? Uh, do it in email. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. So let's get to it. Let's start the three-day clock running. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thanks, Thomas. Okay, good, Tom. Talk to you later. Okay. See you later. Bye. Bye now.